hi and welcome to this lecture in this lecture we will discuss about counters and type of counters we can use in our FedEx PLC programming software which is WinPro letter so let's start from the new project let me select FVS 14 MA here because I have FVS 14 MA type of PLC so I will select this type here all right um, so how many timers how much timers we can use in our this PLC there are some types of timers six from 16 bit to 32 bit and uh, the type of timers are retentive and non retentive as we already have discussed about retentive and non retentive timers uh, what retentive and non retentive means so here we uh, are going to use both of the type of timers and we will practice from both timers in our this PLC uh, practice uh, simple program so uh, here um, we have 16 bit counter uh, retentive counter is starting from C0 to C139 so for it means we can use 140 time counters here as well as 16 bit counter non retentive we uh, have it is starting from C140 to C199 so it means we have total 60 counters of non retentive we can use here so let's use these type of timers we will start from C0 which is retentive counters right here we will use a simple on button or switch on on switch on so for for us for our switching we can use counters from here as well right but uh, here is a shortcut of uh, selecting a counter and as well as timer so we will select here counter and click here so you can see this uh, it's asking about the information what type of timers you are going to use so here we will write C0 because we are you going to use a uh, retentive timer retentive counter I'm sorry uh, now PV means preset value what value you are uh, I mean you 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 need to energize your output for example I said when this counter will reach to 4 my output which is y0 should be energized right so here here is some uh, terminals and uh, let me explain pls means pulse pulse means uh, input signal right when uh, this pls terminal will get a signal it will count one right CLR means clear if I want to reset my counter I will put uh, oh, oh, let me put here another terminal X1 and when you will click this arrow this will automatically match your line from here to here okay uh, so clear means uh, when I want to reset my counter I mean uh, for example here is 2 it is counted already but I need to reset and uh, I need my counter to start counting from 0 again so I will clear my counter from here C up means when counter will reach to this value what output you would like to be energized so you will write here as I'm going to write Y0 here because I am saying that when the counter will reach to 4 value my Y0 should be energized so let me check this counter and remember remember that this counter is uh, um, a retentive counter right I'm going to run my PLC switch off this counter now here you can see it's 4 the value is 4 and our output is switched on our output is energized so when I will click on this clear I will put a signal on this clear it will become a 0 now see here right and our output is also switched off so we will start putting um, giving signal here input signal it's 1 switch on because it's switch button so we will again switch on switch off it's two three 
and here I'm going to click for 4 when it will reach to 4 my output will be energize here, here is 4 the counter is counted fourth value and it is energized our output here and when I will click here it becomes zero right so this is how we can use our counter of um, 16 bit counter now here um, stop your PLC and simulation and we will use another type of counter here non retentive counter it will start from C 140 double click here white C 140 and value is 4 uh, alright 4 is ok ok so now we have a non retentive counter here what non retentive means it means it will lose its value and I am going to click on simulation run PLC and here we are it's 2 off it's 3 off right now it's 3 here and for example my PLC is stopped and my all the PLC network is stopped due to any reason due to load shedding due to unavailability of current all right so I will again start my PLC here from simulation run PLC it will start from the zero because it is non retentive counter we are going we are using here alright so let me reach it to the preset value 2 3 4 when it reached to 4 my output is energized here you can see alright and when I, I, I for example I want to clear this counter so here when my input signal will reach to x1 so the counter will be cleared will start from zero again so that's how we can use our counter we can use now this um, y0 terminal to other uh, functions we can also use so that's how we can use our counters we can select from here and put simple value and use these functions so I hope you ha you have understood about the counter function and we will use this counter in our industrial conditions and assignments too